they've managed to squeeze in 52 and a half pixels. I mean, that's, well, pathetic, actually. LG have just announced that they now make the world's biggest television. It's an 84 diagonal inch monster. I mean, that's, it's over two meters from one corner to the other corner. In fact, at 1.77 meters wide and about a meter high, the surface area of this TV screen is bigger than the area of a standard bed. This is one large television. And the guys over at Sharp were shocked. I mean, they're the guys who build what was until quite recently the world's biggest television. And the reason Sharp was so shocked is that their TV was 90 diagonal inches. Yes, that's six inches bigger than what LG is claiming is the biggest television ever. And the reason LG can make that claim is because according to them, diagonal length isn't everything. It's what you do with it. And they've used it to pack in four times as many pixels as what the Sharp TV had. It's the biggest TV because it's got the most pixels. Now, historically, each new video format has required more and more pixels. So if you bought a DVD in the late 90s, you're going to get an image of up to 720 pixels across by 576 high. That means you're going to need 414,720 pixels to show each image. Now, later on, when high definition arrived, it had gone all the way up to 1,920 pixels across by 1,080 high which is why it's often known as 1080 HD. Now this requires a screen with over 2 million pixels. Well, specifically 73,600 over 2 million pixels. And that is what the Sharp television has. Now LG have gone crazy. They've put in four times as many pixels as what you need for high definition television. They can show what is known as ultra high definition television, which is a fancy name for what its friends in the industry know as 4K. Now, it's called 4K because it's about 4,000 pixels across. Well, specifically, it's only 3,840 pixels across, but what's 160 pixels between friends? Now, this total image of 3,840 pixels by 2,160 is 8,294,400 pixels, which is exactly what LG have managed to fit onto a slightly smaller screen. To do this, they've had to pack the pixels in really tight. If you get up close and personal with the LG television, you'll see that for each inch of screen, they've managed to squeeze in 52 and a half pixels. I mean, that's, well, pathetic, actually. Compared to a phone, it's even embarrassing. If you get the iPhone 5 for the same one inch of screen size, you're gonna see 326 pixels. An iPhone has 6.2 times the pixel density of the LG television. In fact, at 1,136 pixels across by 640 pixels high, an iPhone screen has so many pixels that if you had 11 and a half of them, not only will you have voided your warranty on at least one of those phones, but between them, 11 and a half iPhones have more pixels than the world's largest ultra high definition television. Why is a mobile phone destroyed if you so much as sneeze on it and get a bit of bogey in one of the cracks. There's no reason why a mobile phone shouldn't be completely waterproof in my view, but at least, you know, shower and splash of beer proof. Otherwise you go to the shop and say, my mobile phone's not working and they put it in an x-ray scanner or something and they say, oh yes, it's got water damage. I'm afraid you've invalidated your warranty. <laughs> it's just a plot to sell us stuff. It would be like making saucepans with holes in. You know, a tiny little bit that would break the instant you touched it with a spoon. Oh, well, I'm afraid you've touched it with a spoon. So, yes, but it's a, it's a saucepan. Oh, I'm afraid you've used your mobile phone in the rain. Well, it f rains, doesn't it? It's England. <laughs>